Hey everybody, it's Larry from Flying Out Comics. Today we're going to try something completely different. Uh, a friend of the channel made a suggestion in the comments section uh, wondering if we use the same technique to remove water stains from comics, would that work on a record album? I got to thinking about it and I said, I don't see why not. Let's give it a shot. So I acquired this from eBay. It's a 1964 Beatles second album with severe water damage. So what we're going to do is go ahead and see what we can come with with a treatment program for it and see if we can make any traction on it. It does have color flaking off the bottom of it. I can't do anything about that. Okay, what we have here is the Beatles second album from 1964. Let's take a look at the water damage. It's pretty extensive. You know, the the edges are lifted here. Uh, there's color flaking that has gone. Uh, unfortunately, that's uh, nothing we can do about. Um, it's still got a lot of shine. Uh, we have a sticker down here. Thirty-four ninety-three is what the the record store sold it for, but. You know, we have uh, definite moisture damage here. There's paper loss, which is not what we're after. What we're after is to remove this stain all along here. Now let's take a look inside. Now, the sleeve has your typical record imprint from being in there for 60 years. We have water damage across the bottom here. We do have a tear through uh, right here where the where the record itself is pushed through just over the years. It's uh, acted like a knife blade. So I think we can repair this with some Tengoju paper and we'll just seal that up. Let's take a look at the record itself. It's a little dusty but all in all I don't see any scratches. So let's set that aside. And we'll take some more look. Okay, so this is a center hole jacket. No plastic installed in it. We have some creases that we will treat all of this just like we would a comic book. And we'll uh, go ahead and be, uh, press these out. We'll clean this, uh, get the water damage off. And we'll press it smooth in the uh, heat press. And check all the edges and corners. Which brings us back to the record cover. So my plan of action here so far is to uh, to get a tide line out which is what we call it. Um, unfortunately this is probably sat in uh, somebody's box that's uh, got maybe a basement flooding or something like that. I did notice that there's also water damage up here. So we'll do a little bit of a dry clean on this first. Um, see if we can clean up any of the dirt um, and get that off. A few scratches here in the surface, but all in all the gloss seems to be pretty good. You know, I'm uh, I'm optimistic. All right, so let's give this a shot. Now, first thing we're going to do is uh, take this sticker off. Okay, the sticker is off, and I want to give a special thank you to my girlfriend for letting me use her hair dryer. Um, just hit the uh, sticker with the hair dryer and gently just start lifting, and it comes right up. So our plan of attack here is looking at the water damage. Now, flakes of paper and of the cover have come off. And there's nothing we can do about that. We can do some paper repairs, but it's not going to look the same. We'll improve it. And our main focus here is to get rid of this uh, water line, this tide line, so to speak. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to use calcium hydroxide to soak into the paper and basically clean this stain off. But before we do anything in dealing with these water stains that are all the way around, we need to actually clean the comic book off of any dirt or 
debris that would be attached to the cover. And for that we have some special tools that we use. We're going to get this wiped down and I'll show you these tools next. So going into it I have my uh, horsehair brush, my pentel eraser, a eraser bag, and a hard uh, foam eraser which is wonderful. All of these are archival tools. Um, I will leave the links in the uh, description so you can look at them. But first what we want to do is uh, take the uh, the simplest form is the white eraser and the pentel eraser. We're going to check to see if there's any dirt that comes off immediately. So we test it out in some of the white areas um, and we're going to basically look to see if there's anything that lifts, any brown or dirt or film that comes up. So far it looks like the album is actually very clean. There's no real dirt. So the only thing uh, that I can tell so far it's just the uh, water stains. So we're going to take our hard eraser here. It's not really hard. It's just a foam eraser um, from Lineco and we gently go in one direction with this eraser and we'll do the front and the back of the album and this will lift up any uh, dirt or debris and we'll also uh, through tactile feel if there's anything on the surface of the album that would uh, be you know any uh, not necessarily spilled items but any hard things like pieces of debris that are there and this helps clean this up. So it's just a gent gently pull it across the album and it'll lift pretty much everything out. The one thing I do like about this eraser, it's very good at lifting any foreign objects. And we just want to cover this album, make sure we do, you know, a, a proper and thorough job. You know, even over all of the uh, water stains and the damaged paper, and I, I hate saying this, it's not like we're going to do any more damage to the album that's already been done. Um, as you can see in the in the uh, in the video here, the the damage is is pretty severe. But the pictures here are really good and intact. Um, they look as as though it was uh, printed yesterday. I'm very pleased with that. So we're going to go ahead and clean this off. And next, we're going to use our eraser bag. Now, this is one of my favorite items. It is a bag filled with shredded white eraser. And this is another Lineco item uh, we use in the conservation community. And we can run this over the entire book. We'll dust it off, then we can polish it up. And now it's really ready, uh, or should I say it's getting ready for the water treatment. And that's the one that um, may make you a little squeamish because we are going to take this album and we're going to completely submerge it and soak it so we can get all these tide lines out. So we'll take and polish the front of it and that way I'll feel secure that we've done everything we possibly can to remove any excess debris. Okay, this is the uh, cringeworthy moment for all of you. What this is, is I have a tub here and I have my solution uh, mixed up. It's in uh, a container. It's a large amount. What we're going to do is fully submerge the album cover. Um, that's what we want to get this out. So for the camera purposes, I think the worst part is on the back side. So we'll go ahead and do that and we'll see how this comes out. Now I'm going to go ahead and let this soak. We'll see how much of it comes out quickly. If it comes out slowly because it's going to take a while for the for the paper to absorb the solution. Um, I'll monitor it, but I will, I will do this probably no more 
than uh, 30 minutes. And then I'll switch the solution out with a clean solution. And we'll do this probably about three times depending on how the uh, effectiveness of the uh, standard mobile is. So here we go. Don't panic. I know what I'm doing. Now the solution we're using is a 25% strength solution of calcium hydroxide and I'm going to put the recipe in the description uh, so you can mix it yourself now it's a very simple solution it's it's water uh, just need regular tap water uh, about half uh, probably a quarter teaspoon to a half a teaspoon of calcium hydroxide powder you mix it all together and the secret ingredient is a surfactant, which is a soap. Um, I use a, uh, a particular surfactant called uh, Triton X100. Again, it'll, the link will be in the description. And if you don't want to go that route and you want to try a different method, you can use uh, just simple few drops of uh, dishwashing uh, liquid. Um, about five drops is generally what I use for a gallon of, I'm sorry, for a liter of this. So maybe about 15 drops uh, for a gallon mixture, which is what we used in the tub today. So, 12 hours later. So, there was not a dent after 30 minutes. So, I left it overnight in the tub. Uh, the tub has been drained now, and the album is sitting on a piece of Holytex in preparation to go into the heat press so we can start drying it out. Now, the heat press... Um, I'm also layering everything. The album will go between two pieces of Holytex, and I inserted um, paper towels in between, and that helps draw the moisture out from the heat press through the cardboard into the paper. Now, I had to do this no less than 10 times. Um, leave, if you're going to attempt this yourself, um, just do the outside first to pull out most of the moisture as you can. And then once the cardboard starts getting a little bit more pliable, or not pliable, but uh, sturdy, where you can actually insert some paper towels inside, because it's going to be damp. It's just constantly, constantly damp. And it just, it seemed like it took forever to get this album dry. But ultimately, it did become dry. Now, the heat press, uh, this is a t-shirt press, in case you were wondering what it was. So, you get the iron-on transfer things. I picked this one up at a yard sale, believe it or not. Um, it works great. I just set it for uh, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it is in Celsius right now, if you look at the, the picture. Now, I laid down aluminum plates uh, inside the heat press. A layer of Holytex, a layer of paper towels, the album, and the opposite on top. Same deal. Sandwiched of another piece of Holytex, paper towels, and another aluminum plate. Now, the aluminum is there to transfer the heat uh, in an even manner across the entire surface of the book. Okay, people asked if it was possible to clean water stains off of an album. Yes. But would I attempt it again? Probably not. It was extremely difficult to get this done. Um, first of all, 
these are cardboard and there's it's not necessarily just ink it's more like a I don't even know how to call it a film or something over the top so we had extensive water damage through here and around the edges and I used the same technique we used to clean a comic book now uh, the extensions there we got the stains out but the damage to the paper in here was uh, fairly severe I took some close-up pictures I'll add those in right now so you can see what it looks like and then what I did to prevent any further deterioration I used some Japanese paper and wheat paste like I would in a comic book and I sealed up the edges and it came out quite quite well I mean it's it's gonna be okay some of the stains we just couldn't get out I mean this was this one was really really bad this this is missing paper just from the water damage um, but I did manage to lift most of the stains out. So to answer the question, can we use the same technique to clean an album cover? Yes, we can. However, uh, like I said, I, would I try it again? Probably not. Getting this cardboard that this is made out of wet was easy. Getting it dry was a whole another animal, as they say. Um, I'm pleased with the way it came out. Not disappointed in that at all. The front of the album uh, cleaned up very nicely. You can see the original pictures here. Um, but it had to soak. Uh, in the clips that I showed, uh, I was said I was going to leave it in the uh, in the solution for about 30 minutes. Well, guess what? Didn't even dent it. So it ended up spending the night in the tub. Uh, in the solution and eventually it finally whitened so uh, all in all I think I'm I'm pleased with it um, but would I do it again no but it is possible anyway thanks for watching uh, please like and subscribe if you uh, are interested in some of the things and techniques that we do and if you have any other ideas uh, please throw them at me I'll give them a shot thanks a lot Thanks for watching today. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. I try to put a video out about once a week, uh, sometimes more than that. But I really appreciate uh, the viewers, and if you have any ideas, as said, please send them my way and I will make an attempt at it. Thanks a lot.